to our state capitol newsroom. Have you ever wondered why some lawmakers dress the way they do? For example, in Tennessee, Representative Antonio Parkinson, he always wears a hat. Meanwhile, Senator Bo Watson and Representative Ryan Williams both always wear bow ties. But why? Well, it was a question state capitol reporter Chris O'Brien set out to answer. Over the next few days, he explores the various styles of lawmakers across our state. When you see Representative Antonio Parkinson, the first thing you notice is his fedora. The hat has become the brand now. You know, people will will know who I am, you know, when with the hat on. But if I if I don't have the hat on in, in Kroger, they, I can just walk around. And nobody says anything, you know, for the most part. A hat is literally in his Capitol headshot. The idea came from when he lived in Nickerson Gardens, a government housing project within Watts, California. There was a gang there called the Brims. And they used to all wear fedoras. That's where I started from. That's why, you know, and, and I've been wearing fedoras, um, you know, since, you know, as long as I can remember, to be totally honest with you, you know. And Parkinson says, of course, he wasn't involved with a gang, and eventually he found out his father wore fedoras too. And he isn't the only one with a unique sense of style. Representative Ryan Williams always wears a bow tie. It started when he worked for Ralph Lauren years ago. I found a box in the very back corner that had dust all over it, and I was cleaning out the stock room. I opened the box, and it was full of bow ties. And they, I said, well, what are these ties back here? Well, nobody wears them. The box had 17 bow ties, and he bought it for $25, and he still has all of them. He's joined in a bow tie by Senator Bo Watson. You may think that's because his name, like I did. But that's not the case. My sister started calling me Bo when I was really, really little before I was capable of wearing a bow tie. He started wearing one because he was a wrestler and he felt like it gave him a competitive edge because the wrestling community involves a lot of psychology. But once he graduated, he got a job in physical therapy and switched to a traditional tie. But it didn't quite feel right. So we switched back. It just kept it out of the way. Um, and that was the more practical reason for wearing the bow tie. A reason that still carries to today. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. All right, Representative Williams also says one of his biggest challenges around style is his height and wingspan. He usually has to get suits custom made because of the length of his arms and legs. Well, Chris will have much more on lawmaker style both here and on our website over on News 2 over the next few days.